The story of Clifford Orji, Nigeria's first cannibal. Some names may erase the memories of Nigerians, but not that of the man in our focus in this video. Many Lagos citizens won't forget him in a hurry. Clifford Orji holds the history as Nigeria's first known cannibal. The news of his relief bringing death was made known on the 17th of August 2012. Hello Displorers, welcome to the channel and to another interesting video brought to you by Displore. Before we continue on this very interesting video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on any of our new uploads. Orji was originally from Enugu State, the southeastern part of Nigeria, but lived in Lagos State, the southwestern part of Nigeria, where he used to sell razor blades at the bustling Oshodi market several years ago. Then he shifted his abode to a self-created grotto under the highway bridge in Izolo, where he advertised himself as a native doctor Chineyelu. Occasionally, he violently pursued stray walkers to his sanctuary during daytime. In the dead of the night, he usually blanketed the air around him with the meat-like odor from his special barbecue. However, people living beside his kitchen suspected the special smell of his barbecue, but couldn't confront him because of his mad nature. Unfortunately, Oji was arrested on February 3, 1999, after a woman who went missing was discovered in his place of abode in a near-death held condition. Coupled with that was the discovery of fresh and cooked human body parts and multiple human skulls. Furthermore, Orji was accused at a magistrate court in Ebute Beta in Lagos State and was remanded in Kiriki Prison, which is Nigeria's only super maximum prison. After his arrest, the police went over to his residence to search thoroughly whether there were still some other members of his group hiding around. During their discovery, multiple decaying corpses and fresh human body parts Coupled with those was a check of about 80,000 naira and a mobile phone which was discovered. The police became more suspicious because back then in 1999, GSM had not been fully introduced to the Nigerian market and those who had a mobile phone in their house were prominent personalities then and of which Oji was not. More so, Oji later confessed to kidnapping and cannibalism. He also exposed one of his friends, Tahiru, which was discovered to have been abducting innocent Nigerians in Lagos State and eating them since 1992. Orji, who had shown no remorse throughout the course of his arrest, also disclosed that if he was eventually released from prison, he would also continue abducting innocent Nigerian girls and eat their fleshes. Police found that Orji and his friend were not just human eaters, they were also human spare part sellers. As money, checks were said to have been recovered at the makeshift home at the popular Toyota bus stop on the Oshodi Izolo Expressway. In conclusion, Orji spent 13 years in prison before he was pronounced dead on January 17, 2012 and none of his family members came to claim his corpse. There you have it, explorers, the story of Clifford Orji, Nigeria's first cannibal. If you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend.